What's going on everyone? Albert Bass Angler Chris Perez here. Just came out on the California Delta for a little evening fishing with my pops and uh, just went out mainly to go target uh, some stripers. You know, it falls in the air. I'm in a hoodie, it's not even dark yet. Um, water temps, you know, we're dropping, fish are pushing up, bait and everything. Um, just kind of enjoying some fall fishing really. Uh, but I figured I'd give you guys an update because the striper is right now. Um, for me, it's been consistent. Um, I've caught a couple of solid ones in the last couple of weeks. Um, but I figured I'd give you guys a rundown on what I'm doing. Um, I'm, it's real simple. I, I'm bringing two rods. Um, one of them is a topwater rod. Um, they're on a, a lunker punker. Uh, what's the, the uh, I'm a little stick. And then I'm throwing a G rat. Uh, I think it's called the Willy. Um, I've been, I, unfortunately, I have not hooked up any on top yet. Um, I haven't really thrown it much because wind's been blowing just a little bit the last couple of trips. Um, but I have gotten some to move on it. But the majority of the fish we've been catching um, have gone out, I think, four times down. The lowest fish count we've got is 15. Um, today, I believe we ended up with 25. Uh, biggest was 20, probably 24 inches. So, you know, between five and seven pounds. Uh, nothing crazy, but, you know, just a lot of fun quality fish. Um, but as I said, I keep it real simple. I throw mine on a Dobbins 795 uh, Fury, paired up with a Daiwa Stula HD 20 pound fluorocarbon. Um, I don't think you have to run fluorocarbon. It's just a preference because this is a little bit stiffer, the rod. Inherently, I'm a bass fisherman, so I kind of crack them a little bit. Um, I'm sure you get away with braid with watercolor and all that. Um, but as I said, I keep it real simple. It's a, I think it's a three eighth or a half ounce. Um, I, th I think it's a VMC head, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, it's just what I had laying around the garage. Um, and then this is a Cap City, uh, Cap City Baits swim bait and one of their custom colors. Um, my buddy Tyler actually won the striper derby on that color right there. So there's that little tidbit information. Um, but I've been throwing between that color and I'm sorry, I don't know the names of all their colors. They have so many and they, threw them all at me and I'm like, I sure I like that color. Um, but I'll give you guys a link to their, their Instagram. Um, but it's been, been between something kind of, you know, chartreuse and then I'll intermix if the you know, sun's real high, water's clear, um, more of a transparent color. I mean, you can see the, you know, how, how transparent that bait is. Um, this is another Cap City baits. And then if the water's dingy and I'm not having a lot of wind, um, the X-Zone Finesse Swammer, in an all white, um, clearly this thing's chewed up. I'm actually out of them. Um, but yeah, I mean, those have been the three staples for me. As I said, I've been keeping it real simple. I've only been bringing two to three rods a trip. Um, I don't know, start fishing to me is just keep it simple and just go have some fun. So hopefully that helps you guys out and I'll see you on the water.